Okey. Uh, selamat malam. Sekarang dah pukul 8.11. Cikgu nak mulakan kelas hari ini. So let's learn science with teacher Naga. Okay, before I start the class, I want you to refresh yourself. Okay, refresh dulu. Uh, Gerak-gerakan badan awak, stretch your body a bit. Okay, okay. Be ready to learn science today. Science is fun. Yes. Yes or no? Science is fun. So if you learn science through um, these online classes, maybe it might be boring. But I, I'm giving you the best lah. Okay. So after... Y'all okay, huh? Stretch ready, your body ready, huh? Okay, now let's revise. We're going to revise what you learn in year one. Cikgu nak bagi ulang kaji dulu apa yang korang dah belajar masa tahun satu dulu. Okay? Let's go. It's a quiz time. Quiz time. Ha, siapa tahu jawapan? Ha, jawablah. Okay, siapa tahu jawapan? Boleh jawab. Buka mic boleh jerit. Jawapannya Okay, cakap A ke B ke C ke D Kita tengok siapa dapat betul Okay, ready? One, two, three, go Your first question Which animal lays eggs? Haiwan manakah yang bertelur? Hen 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 No, no, no I want you to choose from here Janganlah crocodile yang ada kat sini je. Dog, cat, dog. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Okay, okay, dah, 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 dah. Boleh off mic dog. Boleh off mic dog. Ah, okay, boleh off mic. Uh, Sarish, off your mic. Okay, sorry, it's already more off the mic. Okay, the answer. Let's check the answer. Tengok yang orang betul ke salah. Okay, ha? Ta -ta -dan. Siapa betul? Tanya untuk orang yang betul. Very good. Okay, we go for the second question. Soalan kedua. Uh, which behavior is not suitable in the picture below? Mana satukah yang tak baik? Report all spill injuries or broken equipment to your teacher. Play with friends in the science room. Clean your lab before departing. Which one's the answer? B. 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 Yes, very good, very good, very good. Kalau dah bagi tahu jawapan, off your mic. Kalau dah bagi tahu jawapan, off mic terus. Okay, very good. Let's check the answer. Nombor C. B. Yes. Tanya. Siapa yang betul? Tanya. Okay. Tanya. Siapa yang betul? Tanya. Okay. We go for the next question. Soalan yang ketiga. Which of the following is not characteristics of a living thing? Bukan characteristic of a living thing. Ah, ni dah tak tahu. Nak berfikir pula. Siapa tahu jawapan? Boleh type jawapan dekat chatting box pun boleh. Ada chatting box kat sana, kat bawah. Boleh type jawapan A ke B ke C ke D ke. Mana satu jawapan? Which of the following is not characteristics of a living thing? Sleep. E. B. E. B. 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 Okay, off, off your mic, off your mic, off your mic, tutup, tutup mic, tutup mic, okay, kita, kita tengok mana satu, siapa cakap A, ah, mungkin salah kot, kalau kata B, reproduce, what is reproduce, melahirkan anak, ah, haiwan melahirkan anak ke tak, itu characteristics of a living thing or not? Ah, tengoklah. Yeah. Okay, let's check. Okay, okay, off your mic, off your mic. Telection, off your mic, telection. Thanks, telection. Okay, yes, the answer is C. Sleep. Ah, siapa betul? Tanya. Ah, 
Kalau yang tak tahu tu, korang dah lupa lah apa yang belajar tahun lepas ha, Do revision lah, ha. masa cuti duduk-duduk kat rumah Belajar lah apa yang tahun lepas cikgu ajar Okay, next What is the importance of wings? Apakah kegunaan wings? A. Help the animal to protect themselves B. Help the animals to fly C. Help the animals to swim B. Help the animals to swim B. 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 Let's see. Yes, the answer is B. Help the animals to fly. Tanya kepada yang betul. Okay. Ada soalan lagi ke? Ada. What type of root does pandanus have? Pandan, pandan. Pandan punya akar tu akar jenis apa? Is it a parallel, netted, taproot or fibrous root? B. 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 The answer is D. It's a fibrous food root. Okay. Uh, dia uh, dalam bahasa Melayu, cikgu dah lupa lah cakap apa ni. Okay. Uh, dia tap root dengan fibrous root. Cikgu dah ajar tahun lepas rasanya. Cikgu dah ajar. Okay. Kalau tak ingat, tolong buat ulang kaji. Ini semua penting. Okay. Itu sahaja. Okay. Uh, ulang kaji itu sahaja. Sekarang baru kita nak mula pelajaran hari ini. So, we're going to start our lesson today. So, all of you have your science book, right? Science textbook. Okay. But today, today we are not going to use this science book. Okay, we are not going to use. Kita tak guna buku ini dulu. What I want to you or I want to do is, I want to use the year science, year one. Okay. Uh, Tarun, please off your mic Tarun Yes, thank you Okay, we are going to use our science year one Okay, because you are uh, Tahun lepas korang tak habis belajar Buka buku ni Tak apa, tutup mic dulu Lepas tu baru cakap Okay, uh, okay kita nak guna buku tahun lepas Tapi korang tak ada buku saya tahu Tapi saya akan ulang kaji Bukan ulang kaji sebab cikgu Rose kata dia tak sempat habis semua chapter tahun lepas. Jadi apa cikgu Naga nak buat? Cikgu Naga nak uh, tarun, please off the mic tarun. Jangan main tarun. Eh, dia nak main je. Cikgu Naga dia buat muka. Okay, ya yeah, cikgu Naga buat muka. Jangan cakap ya. Eh. <laughs> Nanti mic on, semua orang dengar. <laughs> okay. Apa cikgu Naga nak buat? Cikgu Naga nak ajar dulu tiga bab yang cikgu Rose tak mengajar, uh, cikgu Rose tak sempat ajar tahun lepas. Okay, tiga topik. So today I'm going to teach one topic of that. Kita akan belajar dengan paling cepat uh, dan kita akan habiskan lah. Okay, chapter satu, satu chapter. Lepas tu dalam sebulan kita akan buat macam tu. Dalam sebulan ni kita akan belajar semua chapter tahun satu dulu. Sebab tahun satu korang tak belajar. Duduk di rumah. Hari ni, please off your mic. Ha, banyak kali lah hari ni. Tangan tu pergi sentuh je eh. Ha, jangan. You letak telefon tu satu tempat lepas tu dengar. Okay. So, apa yang cikgu nak ajar hari ni. I'm going to teach about absorption. Okay. Absorption. Absorption is year one textbook page 71. Okay. Uh, I'm not very sure you all understand about absorption. The uh, teacher Rose already teach you or not. I'm not very sure but I'm going to teach now. Okay, please listen carefully and at the end of the lesson, I will give some activity for you to do. Okay, uh, please listen lah. Dengar betul-betul. Di akhir mata pelajaran ini, uh, subjek ni cikgu akan beri beberapa soalan dan cikgu nak korang jawab. Okay, 
Let's go. What is absorption? Apakah itu absorption? Siapa tahu? The process by which one thing absorb or absorbed by another. Okay, absorption ialah uh, air. Yeah, air. Menyerap air. Penyerapan. Okay. Air. Yeah, yes, it sucks the water. So when you put something on the water, the wa it will suck the water, right? Dia akan uh, serap air itu. Okay, uh, itu yang bermaksud absorption. Okay, so water absorbent objects and non-water absorbent objects. Ada benda yang boleh menyerap air. Ada benda yang tak boleh menyerap air. Saya rasa korang tahu benda tu. Ha? Ada benda yang kalau ada air, you letak atas air tu, dia akan serap air tu. Ada objek, dia tak boleh serap. Sebab dia tak ada keupayaan untuk menyerap. So that is what water absorbent object. Water absorbent object ialah benda-benda yang boleh menyerap air. Okay, which it can suck the water. And non-water absorbent object is non-water absorbent object is benda-benda yang tidak boleh menyerap air. Dia tak boleh tarik air. Okay. Okay, let's see. I show you a video. I want you to watch the video first. Okay. Okay, jangan buka mic. Watch the video. One day, Michael's mother was mopping the floor. Suddenly, Michael accidentally spilled his milk on the table and the tablecloth got wet. His mother told him not to worry because the tablecloth absorbs water. That is why it is wet, she explained. Then she told him to look around the kitchen to see if there was anything else in there that absorbed water. Michael thought to himself. Then he noticed that a plate cannot absorb water, but the sponge can. The floor can't absorb the water. But the mop can. The fork, spoon, mug, and pan can't absorb water, but the towel can. The table can't absorb water, but the tissue can. Suddenly, it started to rain. The window was open, and the curtain absorbed the rain. Michael's mother asked him to shut the window. Aha! The curtain absorbs water too. Oh, sorry. Ah, cikgu tak buka mic tadi. Cikgu cakap je. Korang tak dengar, ya? Yeah? Okay, it's okay. Okay, you all watch the video already, right? Okay, what you watch in the video? In the video, there is a boy. I don't know what's his name, Michael or something. Uh, his mother spilled some water. So, dia panggil uh, adik uh, Michael tu untuk lap. So, he go and take some plate. Aya, please off your mic, Tarun. Ah, see, please sit, sit, sit. Listen, listen carefully. Don't touch the screen or anything. Okay, water absorbent object. Maksudnya budak itu dia pergi uh, cari benda untuk nak 
elap tapi dia pergi ambil plate uh, then you know plate cannot be absorb water so uh, he take some tissue and wipe after that it's raining outside uh, pintunya buka so curtain sudah langsirnya basah why the bangs- uh, langsir basah the langsir basah sebab langsir sudah menyerap air hujan tadi Uh, that's why it's absorb the uh, that's uh, it's absorb the water that's why it's basa okay uh, so here i show some of uh, absorbent object water absorbent object uh, like tissue paper uh, towel sponge paper okay bukan ini saja ada lah banyak lagi benda yang boleh menyerap air saya rasa korang lebih tahu lebih banyak benda-benda nanti cikgu bagi kerja korang kena siapkan Okay, now, non-water absorbent object. Benda-benda ini tidak boleh menyerap air. Seperti kaca, plastik, uh, raincoat. Sebab tu kita pakai raincoat. Sebab kalau terkena rain, dia tak serap air, kita tak jadi basah. And metal. Benda-benda ini tak menyerap air. So, these are the objects that non-water absorbent objects. Now, what I want you to do, ini latihan korang. Ambil buku sains, bukan sekarang lah, nanti kemudian. Tapi cikgu bagi arahan apa yang korang kena buat. List down 10 water absorbent objects. Cikgu nak awak listkan 10 bahan yang boleh menyerap air dan 10 objek yang tidak boleh menyerap air. Okay, 10 water absorbent objects, listkan semua 10. Then 10 non-water absorbent objects. Listkan semua. Tak apa. Nanti cikgu akan bagi uh, slide ini dalam group WhatsApp. Nanti korang boleh tengok dan salin soalan. Okay. Uh, nanti cikgu akan slide ni apa yang cikgu present ni cikgu akan bagi dalam WhatsApp. Nanti korang boleh tengok balik. Okay. Okay. So this is the your first activity. Ha? Ini activity pertama korang. Okay. Uh, senaraikan 10 barang yang boleh menyerap air. Dan 10 barang yang tidak boleh menyerap air Senaraikan Tulis Itu latihan pertama Okay So Now we go for the Importance of water absorbent And non-water absorbent objects Apakah kepentingan Kepentingan Barang-barang yang menyerap air Dan barang-barang yang tidak menyerap air Penting atau tidak benda-benda Uh, benda-benda yang boleh menyerap dan benda-benda yang tidak menyerap Tarun Can you sit it, sit at one place and listen? You are playing That's your parents Okay The importance of water absorbent and non-water absorbent ha? uh, Apakah kepentingan objek-objek yang boleh menyerap air dan objek-objek yang tidak menyerap air? Is there anyone chatting here? No, nothing. Okay, now you watch this video. Okay, think, uh, think, uh, lihat video ni dulu eh. Let's discover sign with Miss Pen. Hello everyone, I am Miss Pen. Today, we are going to state the importance of objects that absorb water and cannot absorb water in daily life. First, let us look at the importance of objects that absorb water in daily life. This is Ali. Ali uses tissue paper to wipe his sweat. Mama uses a mop to dry the wet floor. Sarah uses a towel to wipe her wet hand. Okay, let's see here. Importance of object that absorb water in daily life. We use tissue paper to wipe our sweat. Okay, kita gunakan tissue paper untuk mengelap uh, peluh. We use a mop to dry the wet floor. Kita menggunakan mop untuk uh, mengemop lantai yang basah. 
We use a towel to wipe our wet hand. Kita guna tarun. Place off your mic. Don't disturb. Ah, we use a towel to wipe our wet hands. Okay, kita gunakan ah uh, towel untuk menge me, 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 mengelap tangan yang basah. So benda-benda ini boleh menyerap air. Sebab itu dia membantu manusia. So that why it is important. Okay, benda-benda ni important sebab dia boleh menyerap air. Dia membantu kita. Okay, let's continue. Now, let us look at the importance of objects that cannot absorb water in daily life. Sarah uses an umbrella on a rainy day. The umbrella protects Sarah from rain. Sarah does not get sick because she avoids herself from rain. Ali drive his car to the grocery shop on a rainy day. The car windshield avoid Ali to expose to the rain. Ali does not get wet when he arrives at the grocery shop because he avoids exposure to rain. Mama uses a plastic cup to drink water. The plastic cup can hold the water because plastic cup cannot absorb water. Therefore, Mama can fill the plastic cup with water so that she can drink water from the cup. Okay, now let's recap. Importance of object that cannot absorb the water in daily life. We use an umbrella on a rainy day. Kita menggunakan umbrella sebab umbrella tak menyerap air. So, kita tak basah masa uh, hujan. The car windshield protect us from rain. Uh, cermin kereta juga protect kita daripada terkena air. Kita gila, uh, kita pergi uh, keluar semasa hujan, kita tak basah. Sebab dia tak menyerap air. So, we fill the drinking water into a cup. Kita gunakan cup untuk uh, minum air dan uh, isi air. Kalau cup itu boleh serap air, uh, macam mana kita nak minum air kan? So, ini semua adalah important of object that cannot absorb the water. So, benda yang absorb water pun ada kepentingan. Benda yang tak absorb water pun ada kepentingan. Okay, so we must know both together. Okay. Let's So, okay. Now, recall. Kita nak hujung pengajaran hari ni. So, we recall again. There are water absorbent object and there are non-water absorbent object. Seperti yang cikgu cakap tadi, awak kena listkan 10 benda yang boleh menyerap air, 10 benda yang tak menyerap air. Then, we see water absorbent object like handkerchief, tissue paper, newspaper, hand towel. So, here got four examples. So, what are the importance? We can mop, we can use the drypers, pampers kan? Pampers selalunya menyerap air kencing. So, that's why they use pampers. Kalau uh, kita guna plastik, katakan korang guna plastik untuk baby. Kalau dia kencing, macam mana air tu, air kencing tu akan keluar? Uh, nanti basah lah semua tempat kan? So, we use drypers because the drypers can absorb water. So, now, non-water absorbent object like paper clip, rubber, plastic toy, drinking straw, all these cannot absorb water. So, what are the importance? We can walk in the rain, we can, uh, our shoe won't get wet. If you uh, wear a plastic or uh, shoe, uh, plastic shoe or what we, what, what we call that, um, kasut getah kan, kasut getah kalau kita pakai kasut getah, dia tak basah. Uh, sebab dia tak absorb water. So, ada kepentingan absorb water, ada kepentingan objek yang tak absorb water. So, I think you clear about it. Itu sahaja yang cikgu nak sampaikan hari ini. Okay. Sebelum tu, uh, cikgu dah bagi dua latihan dekat Google Classroom korang. Okay. So, cikgu nak korang tolong masuk dalam Google Classroom sebab cikgu dah add korang semua. 
Cikgu dah siap-siap add korang. Please let uh, know your parents that you must use Google Classroom to send me the works. Okay. Tak selera lah kerja cikgu kan. So ni student cikgu semua dah masukkan budak-budak yang dalam kelas ni. Aaron Muris, Abdul Hamid, Bawan Raj, Ben Jaden, Darshan. Dan semua murid punya nama ada kat bawah. Cikgu dah masukkan, you kena masuk dalam Google Classroom dan cikgu dah bagi kerja rumah. Cikgu dah bagi dua assignment. Absorption Activity 1, Absorption Activity 2. Tarik tutup. Tarik akhir adalah 12 Februari tahun minggu depan. Sebelum raya Cina, siapkan. Kalau hari ni boleh siap, hari ni lah siapkan. Okay? Ha, okay, ada dua lagi aktiviti di Google Classroom. Kalau tak tahu guna Google Classroom, boleh PM saya. Ha, saya akan bantu bila saya free. Okay? Ha, saya akan bantu bila saya free. Ha, itu sahaja untuk hari ini. Kalau ada apa-apa soalan, boleh tanya. Siapa tak faham apa yang cikgu ajar hari ini? Ada tak? Ada. So what we learn today? We learn today about We learn today about Absorption Absorption water uh, Water absorption uh, objects Okay There are two kinds of uh, uh, objects One is absorb water Another one is water uh, non-water absorbent objects Lepas tu kita kena tahu apa benda yang boleh menyerap air, apa benda yang tak boleh menyerap air. And then ada kepentingan. Ada kepentingan benda-benda itu menyerap air. Apakah kepentingan uh, benda yang menyerap air? What are the uh, importance of the objects that can absorb water? Benda yang boleh menyerap air itu apa kepentingan dia? Uh, dia boleh serap air yang tertumpah. Okay, dia boleh uh, mengelap uh, apa peluh kita. Kalau badan kita uh, basah, kita boleh lap. Kalau benda yang kita lap tu tak boleh menyerap air, macam mana nak keluarkan air dari badan kita kan? So that's the importance of object that can absorb water. And there is also some importance of objects that cannot absorb water, something like uh, plastic and something like that. Dan ada kepentingan juga. Cikgu nak tunjuk video tadi kan? So harap korang semua faham dan tolong buat latihan yang cikgu suruh. Cikgu dah bagi tiga latihan. The first one is list down 10 water absorbent object, 10 uh, non-water absorbent object dalam buku sains awak. Okay. And then our second activity is on your Google Classroom. Pergi sana, cikgu dah bagi dua quiz kat sana. Tolong buat quiz. Tak payah snap picture hantar pada cikgu Nagas. Tak payah. You buat sana, cikgu dah tahu. Okay? Uh, tak payah susah-susah mak bapak pergi tangkap gambar kerja korang hantar pada cikgu Nagas. Tak payah. Tapi yang sepuluh yang korang tulis dalam buku tu kan? Yang sepuluh uh, observant water object and non-observant uh, water, uh, non-water absorbent object tu, uh, itu kena tangkap gambar dan send. Sebagai bukti korang dah siap. Okay. Kalau tak ada soalan apa-apa, kita boleh bersurai. Okay. So kita jumpa minggu depan. Kita tak pasti minggu depan ada ke tak ada sebab minggu depan mungkin ada cuti. Okay. Aaron, Aaron boleh. Yes, yes. Exercise book need one or two? Exercise book need one or two? One only. On only. If need two, then I will ask two. For the moment, only one exercise book only. Okay. Okay. Ada soalan lain? Yes, that book, Bawan Raj, buku itu. Betul. This book. Yes, that book. Any other questions? If no questions, korang boleh uh, keluar. Okay? Bye. Siapkan kerja Bye. dan hantar bukti pada cikgu eh. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.